Hi everyone. In this video I wanted to give you a quick overview of X64 debug or in our case since we're working on a 32-bit machine X32 debug. So what I've taken here is the uh, sample from last week's lab and I've copied it to a .exe. I'm just going to open that up first in IDA and then in X32 debug. Uh, now I renamed this file because uh, sometimes X32 debug has an issue which at least I've run into uh, where it won't save the command line arguments if you don't uh, rename it. So that may be something you want to try uh, if you run into issues. So in the same way that I, I opened it in IDA, I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the icon for X32 debug. And I'll pull it open. So when, it, when we first start, uh, we need to uh, hit run or F9 uh, to actually get to the user code. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, a couple things to, to look at. So this, this big window is obviously your, your disassembled code. Down at the bottom, you have a couple different windows for memory maps. So you can watch different locations. Uh, and you watch a location by uh, right clicking um, anywhere where an address is referenced uh, and, and follow and dump and you can actually specify which window you want to to follow that and dump and it'll it'll change the uh, update the reference in that window on the right hand side over here is your uh, registry values uh, and down at the bottom is your stack okay uh, so we'll pull back go back to IDA uh, so we want to find the reference to this win main function uh, since this actually isn't isn't where the, where the code starts at, so this is 402b6f. So I'm just going to go to that address uh, and set a breakpoint. Okay, so I just hit F2 there. You can also right click on the, the line and hit breakpoint and, and hit toggle. Okay, so now we want to continue to get up here. So I'm just going to do an F9 again, which is this run. All right, so again over here, the the blue arrow, the EIP, is just telling you where you are in your code. So now if you remember from last, last week's lab, one of the things we did was uh, look at the arguments that need to be passed in. Uh, so just looking in IDA in this, this start function, we can see there's a... Uh, string comparison against this dash i flag, uh, followed by another uh, comparison, uh, an EAX, and then if that's successful, uh, meaning if if your uh, command line arguments is, are greater than six, uh, then you're going to actually install this thing as a service. All right, so, so we'll do that. Uh, in X32 debug, depend, uh, pretending like we didn't know all that uh, information. Uh, so just looking at the, the disassembly over here, um, this is that first compare. This is the first compare, which is a comparison against two, and that's just checking that you have multiple command line arguments, followed by a that actual string comparison uh, to the dash i. So we'll uh, just do a uh, it's called a run until selection. So if you have the line highlighted, you just do uh, run until selection or F4. It'll actually uh, set like a temporary breakpoint at that address and continue. So at this point, we want to look at the value of EAX. You know, maybe we don't actually know what this is this is referencing. Uh, so if we just do a follow and dump address EAX, uh, that turns out to be set to one. So maybe in this case. You know, we see this two, and we see this this comparison followed by it. So we decide to set the command line, uh, change the command line. So under debug, if you just go change the command line, you can just add a dash i. Hit OK, and then you'll need to make sure you restart. Okay, you restart. Uh, your breakpoints will be saved. So we can just hit F9 twice to get back to that win main. And you know, I'm all I'll add a comment here actually. Uh, so a semicolon adds a comment. Uh, 
So again, we can do a, a run until here. We can look at this EAX address and we see that it's two now. Okay, so now we can do a couple step overs. Uh, we don't want to follow this function call. Um, okay, so then we're down to the next comparison, which is a comparison of EAX to six. So in this case, let's just actually try to modify, uh, modify this value. So again, you know, you're going to select, go down to your memory dump, and right click, and select modify value. In that case, you can just change it to 6. Uh, and the jump less, uh, we're not going to follow. And so now we're actually in that code block, uh, which is getting the system directory uh, and then uh, installing us as a service. Okay. Uh, this has been an introduction to Win X32. Uh, thanks for watching.